In today's Abandon video, we explore a large abandoned nursing home that was formerly a college in Ireland dating back to the early 1800s. The historic structure's beautiful architecture combined with a healthy mix of natural decay made it a fantastic location to visit, complete by an ornate church and some belongings left behind. Join us as we head inside to discover what remains. Remember to click subscribe and press the notification bell to never miss a video. In our last video, we showed our gratitude for reaching 50,000 subscribers by announcing our biggest giveaway to date. The winners would receive a discount code for 50% off our prints available on our website, as well as receiving free completely unique photographs of unseen locations we are yet to share to the public. We gathered all the names of everybody who entered before using a random name generator to pick the 10 winners. Congratulations to Dick, Steve, Jess, Tom, Peter, Christopher, Mr. L4T3, Dr. Scopify, J2M3 Raiden and Red Slot Sizzling Shots who are lucky winners for the giveaway. Bad luck to anyone for losing out this time, but we will definitely do more competitions in the future. Thanks for the continued support and for 50,000 subscribers. It was around the halfway point of our week-long trip to Ireland in late afternoon and we had just arrived in a rural location, formerly the grounds for today's featured property. Wandering up to the towering premises, we quickly figured out that we shouldn't have any difficulties finding access. The land around the nursing home was spacious and natural, but there was an open golf course and restaurant situated besides it. As for the huge grand building positioned in the centre, a lengthy duration of abandonment had left it seemingly too damaged to keep maintained, either for more collapses or intruders. Nearly every window was smashed and there was little to no defences. Ivy had taken control of the old nursing home that was originally a school for boys, although this welcoming frontage is the only part dating back to the initial construction. Following its beginning, the structure grew in size with many additions as it changed owners and uses in over 150 years of activity. Soon enough, we selected the simplest entry that we could find and headed inside, keen to see how the building was coping with utter neglect. We were fairly taken aback by what we saw before us. Oh, after just getting in, initial impression. That this place is fucked, but the architecture is really nice. Some signs up as well that show that this was a ward in here. And this was a dining room. And there's still some books and a decent fireplace. And the lamps are all still up, so I think it's pure natural decay. There would be a few remnants of the past trapped amidst the property, but to be honest, we were shocked we found any at all. With the length of the time the nursing home has been in standstill, it's surprising to see books and furniture in their normal places. This is a horrendous staircase. Yeah, it's actually leaning in to the left. But I think we should be okay. 
Yeah, stick away from the lean, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's down the right. Inverts. Comes into a very colourful room. It's almost identical to the one below ground. There was a wing, so I'd imagine this might be a wing as well. Or just a wide corridor. On the second floor, most of the rooms were tall and impressive, so we believe these would have been private bedrooms for the owner and their family during the site's use as a mansion in the 1900s. You can see where the water's coming through the ceiling and then made that green patch on the ground. Love the vaulted ceiling. It's some sort of um, theatre. It's got a little stage. Yeah. We are intrigued by the colourful hallways and rooms, but compared to seeing the peeling paint chipping and wilting over time, we were left saddened. It was tragic to see major gaps in such an architecturally perfect ceiling, where supports had given way and rubble crashed down to the ground. Away from the vast spaces in the main house, we progressed to one of the added wings to focus on the differences. This is close to the point of being classed as a ruin, I think. The decay is quite nice though. I'm not going to go into this room, but you can see the ward curtain rails falling down, so this must have been patient bedrooms. It was hard not to cite the exceptional architecture as we moved around the property. Intricate features such as ornate coves, styled banisters, arched glass designs above doorways and effective skylights coated in deterioration created a surreal atmosphere. This is another gorgeous staircase. This corridor is so nice. Really cool fireplace as well there. These are bedrooms of some sort, maybe for staff. As the wind whistled through the hollow complex, we did discover a small room with some interesting paperwork remaining. Folder here from 2003, which is how long this place has been abandoned, I'd assume. It's a really nice ceiling to floor window. The banisters have gone off this staircase. This is going to take us to the top floor, which I just said was too dangerous. As you can see, there is no chance in hell from walking along that. It's all the way along like this as well. 
not just in a little section. This one is strictly off limits. Chosen a better staircase to get me to the top floor. Look at this skylight. It's so pretty. The decay in this place is ideal, to be honest. Just wish there was a bit more in here. Different style of room, almost like a loft room. The windows seem chopped in their size. Dating back to the 1810s, the building opened its doors as a religious boys' school for students under the age of 13. After 30 years in use, the owners decided they wanted to rival another educational site close by, developing the curriculum taught to include secondary school children, as well as the construction of new wings to help cater for new attendees, forming more dormitories, classrooms, a study hall, chapel and a refectory. It was a successful transformation, with most locals staying at the religious school for their studies, rather than leaving to complete secondary teaching at the other facility. Big room. Yeah. This one looks huge, we're going to have to walk across the plank. Do you want me to go first? Yeah. Okay. My God, I know where this is. This is where the um, the cinematic was that I got looking up, and it completely collapsed underneath that blue bit of wall. Looks to be some sort of main hall, though, but we can't really explore it properly as of now. All in all, the two schools battle for supremacy fell short. Both were in debt, and in the 1880s the building we explore today shut down due to a lack of staff and low income. The ongoing students were transferred to the other school, which had remained open. I need to be really careful here. But I think these are bedrooms, just by the number on the door. Since the school's closure, the structure was converted into a mansion for religious personnel and then a nursing home until it finally became vacant in the 90s. We're heading back on ourselves now towards where we came into this section of the building and uh, out across towards where the chapel is because the floor is too heavily damaged to be able to walk across. It's way too dangerous. You can feel it even in parts like this, where the floor flexes, so... Where it's constantly weighing down on these ears. Feels like a good snap. Exiting the same way we had came in, we aimed for the small section of the building inaccessible from the interior, where we hoped an external access point could be found. It was interesting that the religious school hadn't built a chapel immediately when it was built, but perhaps a dedicated room within the smaller property was utilised. After the first set of extensions, the north wing was worked on in the 1860s, and here the church was added, as well as a study hall that we couldn't specifically notice as we explored. Gratefully, an easy opening was spotted that took us right past the collapsed impassable area of the nursing home that had stopped us in our tracks, straight outside of the chapel. Made it into the other half of the building. I've been told there are good things here. This looks like one of them. Wow. Wow, this is massive. Such nice architecture. And then the wooden ceiling contrasts with everything else.
Despite having its pews and most religious memorabilia removed, the design of the chapel was very Irish, something we hadn't seen prior. Its unique width and balcony, in addition to the white walls, chandeliers, arched windows, gold-topped pillars and carved wooden ceilings, showed great character and detail. It's a strange arrangement of stuff left under the balcony here. This looks like um, something you'd find in a kitchen. I'm not sure it's how, how it's ended up here, but... It's a really nice staircase leading you up. Wow, well, I wasn't expecting that. A lot of natural decay up here. You really get a sense of scale as well. From the balcony, the signs of threat to the imposing structure were prominent again, being the mossy floor suggesting that a lot of water was finding its way into the church. It might be imminent that the wooden ceiling that will absorb a lot of rainwater will boast too much, with the weight bringing it down onto the former place of worship. Floors, even in here, are still a bit dodgy. After spending the afternoon inside and outside the nursing home, we decided to leave and move on to our final spot of the day. There are no plans available online for what might happen to the historic complex. Its vandalised and dilapidated structure could indicate that it is too far gone saving. However, whether the money or effort can be gained to do so is another question, particularly when it is isolated with little redevelopment opportunities for buyers. It is a clear example of what ignorance and protection failure causes upon a building too outdated to care for itself. If it isn't flattened, it may naturally collapse, ending up as a ruin in the long term. Hope you enjoyed joining us on this exploration. If you found interest in the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing to never miss a future upload. Here are some of our photographs captured at the abandoned nursing home. If you like the look of them, check out our Instagram page in the description where we post images from our explores months before they are seen on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We hope you're excited to see some more videos from our highly successful island trip. Congratulations again to the winners of our 50,000 subscriber giveaway. See you next time.